Late last week, it was revealed that Chinese military scientists have been experimenting with the gene sequences of human embryos in order to make them more resilient against nuclear radiation. You heard that right. According to this paper right here, which you can see up on your screen, and which was published by a team of Chinese military scientists over in Beijing, they were able to modify human embryonic stem cells and give those stem cells supernatural resistance against radiation, with the ultimate goal of these experiments being, as you likely guessed, to create super soldiers who are able to survive a nuclear fallout. Now, let me break down for you exactly what these experiments consisted of, how they were done, and what the results were that these scientists achieved. And by the way, I hope that if you appreciate content like this, you do take a super quick moment to smash those like and subscribe buttons, which quite literally forces the YouTube algorithm to share this video out to ever more people. Now, to start with, this creepy looking creature right here is what's known as a water bear. Or if you want to get technical, its scientific name is the tardigrade. It's a very little organism, measuring on average somewhere between 0.05 to 1 millimeter long, meaning it's so small that you quite literally cannot see it with the naked eye. It requires either a microscope or a special type of a camera to be able to see one of these water bears clearly. However, despite being so small, despite being microscopic, water bears are extremely resilient. For instance, they can survive extreme temperatures, ranging from 212 degrees Fahrenheit all the way down to negative 320 degrees Fahrenheit. They can withstand extreme pressures, all the way up to 6,000 times the average pressure at sea level. But also they can survive a space vacuum, being able to tolerate being in outer space. And then, perhaps more pertinent to our discussion here, they can survive doses of radiation that are a thousand times stronger than what would kill an average human being. Specifically, these water bears, they can withstand exposure of up to 5,000 grays of radiation and be just fine. Whereas, just for your reference, 5 to 10 grays of radiation is enough to kill an average human being. Now, initially, scientists assumed that water bears achieved this impressive feat by having a robust DNA repair mechanism which allowed them to survive extreme radiation. And while that still might in fact be the case, researchers who were looking into the genome of these water bears, they discovered something else. They found that these particular organisms, these water bears, they create a very unique protein which wraps itself around the water bear DNA to serve as essentially a shield against radiation. After it was discovered, this particular protein was named D-SUP, D-S-U-P, which stands for Damage Suppressor. And so it's this gene which allows water bears to generate this specific protein, which then allows them to be protected against both radiation as well as general environmental damage. And it's exactly this mechanism that the Chinese scientists are attempting to replicate in humans. According to this research paper, these Chinese military scientists were able to successfully use a gene editing tool take a gene, that specific gene from these water bears, insert that gene which creates that protein into a human embryonic stem cell, which then resulted in that human stem cell having significantly increased resistance to radiation. Here's specifically what the results were that they wrote in their study. Quote, in the laboratory experiment, nearly 90% of the human embryonic cells carrying the water bear gene survived a lethal exposure to X-ray radiation. Now, as great as that sounds, this type of research has very obvious problems, both ethical problems, which the Chinese Communist Party seems to not really care about, but also technical problems. Because changing just a single gene in a human isn't as simple as it sounds, and it can have unintended consequences. Here's, in fact, what the Chinese scientists wrote about these concerns, about these concerns of unintended consequences in the paper that they actually published. Quote, adding an alien gene from the water bear into human embryonic cells could lead to harmful mutations or even kill the cells because of the genetic gap between the two species. The shielding proteins are unique to the water bears. The immunity response from cross-species expressions is unknown and it can lead to some safety issues. Which really makes the fact that these chimeric experiments of theirs even worked quite surprising. And according to the paper, they worked better than the scientists had even anticipated. That's because besides conferring these cells a high resistance to radiation, it also allowed them to grow at a faster rate than average. Here's specifically what they wrote. Quote, genetic analysis found no mutations in the modified cell's chromosomes. These cells function normally and even grew faster at some stages of development. The expression does not damage the vitality of cells, but can promote cell proliferation to a certain extent. And of course, for the Chinese Communist Party, this is just the beginning, given the fact that this team of military scientists, they added this, quote, the study will move on to the next stage based on these findings. Now, in terms of what this next stage in their research looks like, one of their future projects will be to turn these gene-edited embryonic stem cells into blood-making cells, which can then be used to protect soldiers who are out in the field. 
just specifically what the researchers wrote. Quote, acute radiation sickness, otherwise known as ARS, is a medical problem faced by military personnel, civilians, and emergency workers when responding to nuclear accidents and nuclear terrorism. To increase the chance of humans surviving an apocalyptic event, the modified cells will be implemented into bone marrow to generate new blood cells with resistance to radiation. I'm sure the Chinese will only use that for defensive purposes. Regardless, perhaps in order to deflect some of the criticism that this is purely about military applications, the Chinese military scientists also made a point of mentioning that these gene splicing experiments of theirs have other benefits as well. Here's what they wrote, quote, this water bear gene plays a protective role in cellular DNA against oxidative stress, which is central to the development of many diseases, including cancer, aging, diabetes, inflammation, and Parkinson's disease. Meaning, in short order, that whether you agree with these experiments or not, they're happening, they're going to continue developing, and while we here in America are busy debating which bathroom a certain individual should be using, Chinese military scientists are rather unabashedly working to create an army of cancer-free, radiation-resistant, water-bear chimeric soldiers to take down America. That's very cool. If you'd like to read more about this Chinese research for yourself, I'll throw several links down into the description box below this video for you to check out. And you can check out those links right after I show you this beautiful coin, which I bought from today's sponsor. This right here is an American Walking Liberty one ounce gold coin. And typically I order at least one of these from our sponsor, American Hartford Gold, every single month. The reason I do so is because, I mean, as you likely know, the inflation rate in this country is the highest that has been in, what, the last 40 years now? Everything like the price of food, the price of housing, the price of gas is absolutely going through the roof. And in fact, market experts like the CEO of JP Morgan Chase, he's not only predicting a recession, but he's even using words like unprecedented economic hurricane. And so listen, I absolutely do not give you any financial advice, but I would recommend that you do what I do, which is pick up the phone and call American Hartford Gold. Their super friendly staff can help you diversify your portfolio by either getting physical gold and physical silver delivered directly to your doorstep like I do, or deposited directly into your IRA and your 401k accounts they make the entire process super simple. And actually, besides me, they have an A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau with quite literally thousands of satisfied clients around the country. And best of all, to our viewers, to the viewers of Facts Matter, they are currently throwing in $2,500 worth of free silver on your first qualifying order. So giving them a call is an absolute no-brainer. So pick up the phone and call 866-242-2352. That's 866-242-2352. Or text ROMAN to 6 Five five three two. Their link will also be down in the description box below. And then let's head on back to the studio. And now lastly, I'd love to know your thoughts on today's story. What do you think of this research? Is it too risky to do or just perhaps unethical? But on the flip side, if the Chinese are doing it, do you think that the U.S. should be doing it as well in order to not be left behind? Or do you think that experimenting on embryonic stem cells, no matter whether they were made in a lab or not, is just not ethical and should never be done? I'd love to know your thoughts. Please leave them in the comment section below. I'll be reading them later tonight, today, as well as well into the week. And then until next time, I'm your host, Roman from the Epic Times. Stay informed, and most importantly, stay free. Mm -hmm.